I'm here at Austin Stadium after the Oregon Ducks literally ran away from the UCLA Bruins in the second half to beat their Pac-12 South foe 42-14. Now, usual starting running back for the Ducks, DeAnthony Thomas, played in his first game since September 28th against Cal. He's been harboring an ankle injury that actually got re-inflamed right before the second half. Now, in his place was Byron Marshall, filling in beautifully since Thomas has been gone. I've been waiting for it, you know. Uh, I think some people wait on A lot of people talk about it, and there's either two ways it goes. They either succeed or they just fail miserably. Um, and I've just been really excited for this opportunity that I've had and just really try to make the most of it. So I just going out there, killing myself in practice, um, really just trying to step up. When, he's, when his number has been called on, he's made the most of every single opportunity. And um, that, that guy's, you know, one a great example of resiliency. Um, you know, even even though he was kind of getting held up a little bit in the first half, he just kept plugging through. Again, a guy that, that really accepted a couple challenges as the, as the game went on. He had a, a little bit of kind of too many, too many feely runs. He was, he was kind of tiptoeing through there and, and trying to make every play a touchdown. And we just, you know, talked to him about one cut, hit it, and, and then a four-yard run became a 12-yard run running through an arm tackle, and then he, he broke a couple. And Again, a great a great effort by him. I mean, you got to stay humble. Yeah. So, so, yeah, I definitely feel good about myself, feel good about the performances, but uh, all of that goes in the trash after tonight, um, and then we'll just come back out and work hard on Monday. Now, the Ducks will have next Saturday off before they travel down to Palo Alto to take on the Stanford Cardinal the following Thursday. Now, that's the huge game for the Ducks. That was their only loss last year in a 17-14 overtime thriller here in Austin. It's definitely a game that's been circled on their calendar since the schedule came out, and it'll almost certainly decide who wins the Pac-12 North. Now, from Austin Stadium, this is George Archidas for the World News Bureau.